Good afternoon, everyone. I still remain your tutor or data analyst, and today we are looking at um, how we can uh, how we can draw graph, how we can draw graph from the data you've entered, probably a scatter diagram, uh, pie charts. Or you want to know a correlation of one variable and the second one through the graph. Okay, now at the variable we've entered, we have this. Let's say we have this. And now on this interface, now we have age, we have class, we have gender, we have. Uh, Maths, we have it, and that math stand for mathematics achievement test. Why is stand for English achievement test? That's what we have as a variable that we've entered here. Now, how do we now construct graphs under the menu that we have? You go to graphs here. You click on it. You go to charts builder here now. Shout Builder, you click on it, you click on Shout Builder, this interface will come, look at it here, Shout Builder, Shout Preview uses a sample of data, now these are the variables that we have, these are the variable age, class, gender, mathematics, achievement, English achievement, and now, for all to do this, you go to the one you want, now, I've taught, I've taught you how you can do for bar chart, all those ones, that's all this one you see here. If it is a, a scatter diagram, I want you to do with a scatter diagram now. This is scatter diagram. You come to this place, where you choose from, you click on scatter or dot. You see it now? Now, you now see these eight samples of dot diagram you can do. If you click on this page, you see it's a simple scatter group scattered simple 3d scattered group 3d scattered summary point plots simple dot plots scatter plot matrix and drop line we have a the eight of this one is what you can do the other way now let me start with the simple one you click on it like this you press it and drag it to this place you drag it. It's coming. You see now. You drag it. Really, you do that. This element property will come up. This one. Element property. The x axis, the y axis. Now, for my y axis, which one do you want to be there? Out of the variable you have here. If you if you need age, you click on that age and you drag it. See now. You see this change. It changes to hand. You drag it to this place. You see now, it is all right. If you need with what, with uh, maybe with mathematics achievement test, take it, drag it to y x axis. Now look at it now. This is the diagram. And once you are done like this, you can come here, here, here. You have. Do you want to find the value? Put the value there. The mean, the mode. Which value do you want to appear? If I click mean, mean will apply. Like I say apply. You see, me, middle age. You see it here now. The middle age appear because I put me. If I put minimum and I say apply, see now the minimum age. If I come to this statistics now. I go to values. The value means all what I have there. That is age. I click apply. That's age. So I take from that place. Now, here, that is just the gla under gla uh, gla uh, gallery. Under gallery, I have all this one. Then you can come to the uh, title and footnotes. We have basic element, which is one that is appearing here. We have, uh, if we click on this one, you see now the basic element. The group and point and title. Now, which title? I want title there. Title one to appear. You see, one is appearing. Title. 
maybe now you come back to this title one what title do i want to give that t1 you no know, title one that is what you see a t1 if i put title two you see now t2 but i just want to put only one title i click t1 now that my t1 that i click now the t1 that i click now what do I, what do i want to be there as in the title okay the graph i put it here Graph, scatter diagram of scatter diagram scatter diagram of H and H and mathematics mathematics achievement test. Then when I'm done, I can say apply. Okay. Nah. Okay. One well, at the uh, output layout, the title will appear. I can, if I'm true, I'm okay with it. I can just click OK, and I will see my results now. My result is coming. You see, scatter diagram of age. I'm as you see now, what I type there. See, these are the coding, coding. If you, if you write all this code, if you write all this code, this is what is going to appear. These are the coding of it now. And can go down, this is it now. Can go down, this is it now. See my results. Between age and 14 with the mathematical achievement test. Since I look at it now, age and 14, every one of them telling me that, uh, uh, except this one, look at it, except this, uh, 11 to 12 that score within 11 to 12 that score 2 if you remember 2 every other every uh, every other person score beyond 10 you see now this 10 this line is 10 beyond 10 to the least scatter diagram telling me those people that score apart from this one between 11 the other one score 10 and you see this side you see this side now you see this side now those 13 to 14 those one two beyond 10 this 10 this is 0, this 5, this 10, you know, 10. And this is my x axis and my y axis. That's it. All right. Now, do I want to do another one. I go back to my, this. I click on graphs. Okay. Chart builder. You click on it. And something came up. I don't need this one. You can return it. You see now, I want to, uh, y axis. This one too, I don't need it. Return it. Okay. Now, I can go back to my query blurry okay uh, which one do you want me to have a scatter diagram for okay probably is this uh, scatter diagram uh, i have this eight okay the group one yeah, i want to try the group one group scatter diagram. i click on it and i drag it here okay. i drag it here okay now which variable i want let me take the variable of Mathematics and uh, uh, mathematics and uh, English achievement test. Mathematics to be on my y axis and English to be my x axis. You see now, you see the value. Okay, I come to the type two. I say okay, my type two. Okay, what do I want for that type two? The scatter diagram. Scatter. Diagram for both mathematical achievement test and English achievement test. So when I'm done, I say apply and then apply. I've done that. Then I need. Let me take because it's a group. Let me take gender for it. Okay. Okay. I will be 
see your results here this test not you see if I don't want to use that I can go back I can go back go to gallery and is a bar chart that I want okay it's simple of this I want this I put it here what value do I want I want H eh? and what again class here yeah. all right See now, then what title do I want? I click this title, say title one. This panel will open the right title. This one is called a uh, uh, bar, bar chart, bar chart, cluster bar chart, cluster bar chart for for age and class you apply okay you see now is what you what you have here now okay you see cluster by shots this class this age apply and this what is going to appear and if I don't want this one as well okay you remove it you remove this age back to it will be removed you remove this one okay this is what you have okay i want single one and you click it you drag it now what do you want here i want only age okay and age and class i put it here you see now so if you need this and if you want title you place it as well that's it Okay, I go back to Glary and I want I want this uh, stack by chart. I click on it and I drag it here. Just one, okay. This glass is already there. Now I remove it. I remove this one. See now, I equal. Until when you put the value there, H, then you put H here. Then you put class here. You see what I have it. If I remove this one, you see what I have. Js one, js two, js three. Okay. And when you are done, you click OK. Say bar. You click OK. And you reset. And that's all. Okay. That's how to use our. Uh, graph to draw your your graph for SPSS any graph you want okay let me go to this this one okay this one is a uh, statistics bulletin statistics bulletin has to do with GDP uh, uh, imports exports degree of uh, openness trade real invest real exchange rate real interest rate and unemployment okay and i want to use graph you click on it you click on graph and click on chart builder you have for your data now i need this one now this scatter diagram i need i click on this scatter diagram simple if it is simple one i drag it here okay now here let me put my here on y axis then for gdp the value gdp drag it to make sure you have and see category one category two and more like that you see now 
Look at what we have here. You can now put your title. You click before when you click title one, click title one before the panel will open. You write it. Uh, regression analysis we have. Regression analysis graph. You click apply. Then you click OK. And this results come up. This result will come up. See. Look at all the look at all the values of GDP. Look at all uh, the year from 1981 to 2005. Look at the graph. At the regression analysis, the topic, the title at a time. You see now. Yes. If you are not, that's not what you want to do. You go back to your data view. Okay. You click graph and you go to chart building. Then you first remove this. Remove it back. Then remove it here back. You see you have empty now. Go back to your query. Which one do you want? The bar. All of all, remove everything. Remove everything here. And when you remove everything, now what do you want? I still want my scatter or probably less. Okay, I don't want scatter. Okay, I want scatter. With uh, some points, I drag it down here. Now, what and what do I need some points for? Maybe the year and uh, the year and the S spots. I drag it here. That's it. Here. I cannot click OK. This, you see now. Year and export. You see the graph that I have. See the graph that I have. The graph that I have. Okay. The graph. That's how to run the uh, SPSS graph under the graph menu. Is that taken? Thank you. Thank you.